So in these next few videos, I want to talk about the Ayurvedic daily routine. It's a really big topic to talk about, but I will split it into parts. So the first part I wanted to speak to you about this time is waking up early, um, because I know that it's not just Ayurveda that recommends it, it's generally a health tip. Um, a lot of new age um, self-development books and things mention about waking up early and how, how great it is. And um, I myself have really experienced that throughout loads of these situations in my life. And I really, you know, if, if someone was to make one single change in their life, if they just woke up early, it could just make such a difference, I absolutely assure you. So before I start, I just want to mention that I recently did an article in a magazine called Plant Star Magic, which is here. This is the third volume of it. So I did an article about the Ayurvedic routine in here. So if you're interested or inspired by this video or the other ones, you can find the full article in here. And um, I also go into um, beauty recipes you can try to implement into your beauty routine. And I also do, um, I mention a recipe to have for breakfast that's really balanced Ayurvedically. And also a night milk you can, you can try and experiment to have. And also the full details of morning to night of your daily routine. So you can find Plants on Magic on Instagram. Um, it, it's on my page, I put a post recently about this, so you, it's tagged in there. And then you can also search the hashtag Plants Are Magic and you can purchase it online. And it's also full of other like amazing articles about interesting people um, doing things with plants and being creative and inspiring things. So yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, I do recommend that you check it out. So why is waking up early so amazing for you? Well, I think, you know, it's easy to say to someone, just wake up early, it's really good for you. But personally, I think you need a reason to wake up early. Um, and when you're on the path of like discovering maybe what you're more passionate about and what you're more interested in than just going to your day job, um, waking up early is just such an exciting time because you can use that time in the morning to do your emails, you can you know, network with people, find events in your area that you're interested in, find courses that you want to go on, do some financial planning, do something towards reaching your goal. It's an excellent time of the day to do this. Um, so there's several reasons as to why it's really good for you and that's what I want to talk about because I think it's going to give you a bit of motivation as to uh, why it's on, in your favour to wake up early. So number one, from the Ayurvedic perspective, if you wake up between 4 and 6 a.m. it's the Vata time of the day. So Vata dosha is the elements of air and ether and they basically, if you look at the qualities of these elements, it's all about lifting uh, and movement and space and subtleness. So the qualities are mobile and uh, clear as well as another quality of these elements. And that will make sense in a moment. So if we use these qualities and understand that they're more prominent in our atmosphere at that particular time, if you wake up, that's a movement in itself. So you'll find it much easier to wake up and get out of bed than it would be later when the kapha time comes in, okay? Which is about seven o'clock. That's why it's really annoying when you wake up at seven and you feel like you've been run over by a bus sometimes because you just feel so groggy and heavy because that kapha heavy energy is like making it really difficult to get out of bed. But try waking up a bit early and you'll notice that you can actually get out of bed, but it's staying awake. Like sometimes you'll wake up at four and be like, oh, look, I'm awake. That's cool, but I actually want to go back to sleep. And that's why I think it's really important to have something to wake up early for. You know, when if you discovering your passion in life, wake up for that and you won't need someone to tell you to wake up early because you'll be like, I want to. There's a big difference between someone telling you to do something and actually wanting to do it instead. Um, yeah, so uh, it's the vata time of the day and that's why it's really good for you to, and easy, to get out of bed physically. 
Um, another good thing is that it um, stimulates an elimination because of this movement that's happening in the body. It's easier to go to the toilet. Um, so going to the toilet once a day, or at least like once or twice a day is very healthy for you. Um, so if you're Vata type and you notice that it's not easy for you to move a stool, sorry to be so crude, um, you might notice when you wake up at this time it's actually fine and you know you won't have to go and take something for constipation and get all worried about things because you just wake up early and there it will happen and you don't have to worry and you also will have time for it to happen I don't know with Vata people sometimes it literally takes time you have to just sit on the toilet and wait um, gosh this is turning into such a crude video I didn't mean for it to um, so yeah elimination at this time is really good and that's another reason why you have to get up early because um, it's just, I mean, going to the toilet every day is another amazing thing for your health. So, um, that's the Vata aspect of waking up early. There's a spiritual aspect as well. In the yogic text, it's a particular time of the day. I don't know the exact name, I think it's Brahma Mudra or something. If you know the correct word, you can put it in the comments. I could look it up as well. Um, but it's a particular time of the day where the atmosphere is really clear and it's um, you can say it's almost pure and you can say it's pure because people's thoughts haven't really entered the atmosphere yet because your thoughts are energy so you know by the time everyone's woken up there's things going on around you and it can really affect your mind but if you wake up really early it's really clear now benefits of that clarity can just bring you to amazing places depending on what you're doing with your life so if um, you're studying for an exam for example you can memorize something so amazingly well at this time in the morning if you're um, network with, networking with people or applying for jobs write your CV and your cover letters at this time in the morning um, because your what it is is that clarity creates a concentration in focus in whatever you're doing so it's like normally throughout the day your mind is like a light bulb and it's all the thoughts are going in all different directions but when you can concentrate and bring it into one straight focus <coughs> excuse me you can really get something done effectively and your mind is just so powerful more powerful than what you think uh, it's a really good time to do visualization because you're so focused on creating something within the mindscape and manifesting something within your life if you've got a particular desire that you want to fulfill for yourself it's a really good time to do that and of course it's a good time to meditate and that's why the um, there's a lot of spiritual practices around this time for um, monks and ashrams because it's so pure um, and in that purity you can't help but feel something higher going on if you just wake up early and stand in the garden or stand outside and just look up like not necessarily look up, maybe look at a plant or something. There's just the beauty of it is being able to, is um, you can recognise that at that time of the day. So um, yeah, I think it's a really really good thing to start doing is to wake up early. Just think about what it is you're passionate about. Um, make a list of things that you're going to do at that time in the morning and get excited about it and have a reason to wake up. Okay. If you're in full-time work and you're like, I don't have time, I'm too tired, make time. Just try it out. Um, try to cut down on so much caffeine, it makes it a lot easier to wake up, which is a bit strange. But yeah, and try to go to bed a bit earlier as well. That's another part of the um, videos that I'll talk about. So I'm going to do the Ayurveda routine in different parts because it's a really long, big topic and I've got so much to say on it and those are the tips and advice to give. I just wanted to start with waking up early because it really is such a, a good thing. So if you, I quickly want to add at the end here, if you're of Vata constitution, um, waking up around between 4 and 6 is fine. Pitta people, 6am is okay. And Kapha people is better if you wake up a bit earlier. So towards the 4am or 5 is much better because Kapha people need less sleep because um, they want to reduce that heaviness within them. Um, so yeah, depending on what your constitution is, it's easier to wake up at different times of the day.
and it's a really good time to start moving your life forward in a particular direction if that's what you desire. And I highly recommend it. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and keep watching and looking out for the second part of these videos about the Ayurvedic daily routine. Don't forget, Plants on Magic is a really good magazine. And yeah, like, subscribe and I look forward to any comments that you might have. Namah Shivaya